I used to get told in 2014, 15, you've got to come and see this kid playing at Box Hill. <laughs> he reminds us of a you. Yeah. Temperament, the way he plays, the way he finds space as a forward. And I went, went and watched and I went, wow, I hope that kid wears my jumper someday. <laughs> well, you skip straight past it. <laughs> I did cop that a lot at Vox Hill. People would yell at, oh, the mini dermy. And I used to chuckle. Yeah. I don't think I was ever as hard as you. Uh, you're a little bit more courageous than me, but. I wouldn't have thought so, mate. That's all bluff. <laughs> That's all bluff. <laughs> yeah, I did find that uh, quite amusing, but then also, I mean, it was quite cool. Tell us about that temperament. Would you like me to go through some of the indiscretions? Because <laughs> like you, I could do the same. Yeah, we, I don't think it's as we, long as yours. We but... put our hands up. <laughs> Tell us, where does that come from? It definitely comes from my mum. She's uh, very competitive, um, played sport in her as she was as a kid and always right and uh, pretty stubborn. So, yeah, I thought get it from her. Some of the things we've, we've seen... You ran into the bond, you ran at the bond. Yeah. And then Hodgie had a go at you, said, oh, he's too big, he, the bond's too big for him. And then you backed up, you pushed him up against the fence. He was backing up from you. I do, I do remember having a little scuffle with him, but that's just, I don't know, once I get in that frame of mind and it's a bit of hostility, it's sort of not really scared of anyone and won't sort of take a backward step to anyone, regardless of how big they are. I had a little incident with Sammy Draper, who's a big, big man. But I don't know, it just, not really scared of anyone, really. Joel Selwood, you had a go at him. I think you got weeks for that, did you? You dropped oh, a knee yeah. onto him. He tried to trip you as you you tackled him. Yeah. You tried to run away. He held on and tripped you to stop you <laughs> getting into the next, and then kept holding. There's my read on it. Yeah. This would have been my defence. <laughs> and you dropped a knee on him, and I think you copped a couple. Yeah, I think I got suspended that week. Yeah, it's quite funny reflecting back on some of the things I've done. You'd be like, what are you doing? Like, Joel's a champion of the game and you're just trying to find your way. It's, you're in your third year and you're fighting probably the best captain of Geelong ever. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Do you, do, can you look at yourself outside, from the outside, and look at the on field and go, why? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But you just don't know. When you're in that frame of mind and you're, you're all about winning and you're trying to prove yourself when I was coming through. But it's also, it's a good reflection of how far I've come um, to where I am now, to where I started. Um, yeah, it's all about growing. So you say how far you've come. See, I reckon it's still in there. Yeah. But you just learned how to temper it. Yeah, for sure. What's your personality underneath in relation to that type of statement? I can see myself in that sort of mould. Um, everything's for keeps regardless if it's a practice match training or anything I do. But yeah, I've, I've learned to, to temper it and channel it in the right way and um, had a lot of help with that. Uh, and a lot of, yeah, a lot of support and sort of patience around um, how to approach that sort of thing through Clarko and um, many other coaches that I've had. Because there was a game against Carlton where it completely went the, the wrong way and I think that was a good learning point and uh, something that I refer back to a lot is I don't want to be that person that's detrimental to the team. Like you can be competitive and be hostile and have that want to win, but as soon as it's still, as soon as it's not channeled in the right way and it's hindering the team's performance, yeah, it's something that I, I really learned from. Um, so now it's something that I, yeah, reflect on. Have you ever gone and had any counselling? And, and there's no shame in it, they no. sent me once as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're pretty fortunate that in the last sort of six years, I reckon we've had a club psych and I use it a fair bit in the early days, I don't sort of use it anymore. Uh, so I feel like I've got a decent handle on it, but yeah, I did definitely use it. You're sort of learning about why you act this way towards certain things and the ways you can go about bringing yourself back. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. So you mentioned before you've matured, there's a bit of growth in there. How did that come about? I've done a sort of a lot of self-reflection and part of that's been through some programs that we've implemented at Hawthorne. We had a really sort of unique program that Ben Crow run with a few of the guys, players, staff, coaches. And it was really about sort of learning. You could get a, a lot of things out of it, um, but the one thing that I got about was about sort of why the way you are and how your upbringing and things, they're called crucible moments and how they sort of define you. But then realising that just because that's happened doesn't mean you have to be that person for the rest of your life. It's, you can change and it's all about learning and yeah, sort of self-reflection and, and realising why you are the, the way you are. Um, was something that I found that helped me. Mm.
you said something quite salient then, a moment in your life it could be. Is there anything you viewed in your in your life that you thought, wow, that's that's helped form that personality of mine? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you want to share? Not really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the whiteboard here of the record game of Alistair Clarkson's 300th game of yeah. coaching. That's it there. What can you tell us about that day? I think we won. Did we win? I can't remember. <laughs> I think we did win. I had a go at Taylor Jure. It was a weakish attempt to pacify you. <laughs> if you're going to pacify somebody, you've got to come in over the top and yeah. be stronger than they, than you anticipate their reaction. <laughs> I think he was just trying to calm me down. And we've got a great relationship, Taylor. He's one of my good friends. Yes. Um, so he was just trying to be a good mate. I think I was that that frustrated and he doesn't play in the forward line and he was in the forward line so I told him to go back to the back line in the nicest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he was just trying to have my back and so that's something that I've sort of I've learnt and can laugh about it now but know that if that happens again I won't react in that way.